Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Trying to download an app from the App Store but getting a connection error? This common problem can be a bother, but it's usually easy to resolve. In this video, I'll show you seven solutions on how to fix the problem so you can get the apps you need on your device. Let's go. There are several causes of the error and most are due to network connectivity issues. One of the initial steps in troubleshooting is to verify your internet connectivity. Make sure you're properly connected to the internet before proceeding with further troubleshooting steps. Swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to bring up Control Center and ensure the Wi-Fi or cellular buttons are toggled on. You can also reconnect your device by toggling airplane mode on for a few seconds and toggle it back off. After that, check to see if you can reach a website from Safari or another browser. Next, visit the Apple System Status page and see if the App Store has a green indicator. Links can be found in the description box below. If there's a yellow or red indicator, this means that there may be an outage on Apple's side. If the problem is on Apple's end, you'll need to wait and try again when it's back up and running. Afterward, try to force quit the App Store. Double press the home button for older devices or swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold for newer devices to access the app switcher. Find the App Store and swipe up to close it. Relaunch the App Store and try again. If your device has been up and running for several days and you can't connect to the App Store, try restarting it to fix the problem. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone 10, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. Another solution is to re-log in your Apple ID. To do this, go to Settings on your device. Tap your name. Scroll down and click Sign Out at the bottom. Enter the Apple ID password, then click Turn Off. You will also be asked to keep a copy of your data on the device, select what you need, and then proceed with Sign Out. Wait a few minutes, then sign back in. If the time and date aren't set correctly on your iPhone or iPad, it can interfere with your connection to the App Store. On your settings, again, go to General and select date and time. Make sure set automatically is toggled on as an incorrect date and time can cause connection issues. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also, bear in mind that some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.